as does the chemistry with Roach. We saw that in the Timothy Bradley fight. Doesn't necessarily have to land a devastating shot if he keeps that jab pumping and stays out of trouble. But Provodnikov... Provodnikov's not wasting any time. He's doing exactly what he said he was going to do, and that's get right to work. Algeria buys a little real estate by coming off the ropes. You hear Lampley say Chris Algeria's trying to buy himself some real estate. You know, avoid, avoid the action. Where Andre Ward says before that, Ruslan Provodnikov is not wasting any time. He's coming in here to do what he, what he wants to do. And if you see this fight, if you remember this fight, that's exactly what happened. Provodnikov was the more, the way more effective fighter in this fight, and that's obvious. Uh, Provodnikov has been on HBO before this fight in a very exciting, tough fight with Timothy Bradley, a man who he almost knocked out. I don't have a problem too much with the scorecard in Timothy Bradley versus Ruslan Provodnikov, but it was a fight he could have lost. Bradley could have lost that fight. So Provodnikov has done well going into this Chris Algieri fight. He has done well on HBO. He has given HBO some exciting fights throughout the you know throughout the years. You know what you're seeing is these are the best highlights from HBO. The best highlights of the of this fight, round by round. It's insane when you look at the scorecards or when they or they read the scorecards at the end of the fight. I mean, there was obviously something going on, and that should have been obvious to anybody. You know, two judges having it basically the same. That's that's giving the fight to Chris Algieri and the other one having it the right way. Nine rounds to three. You know, something like that. Nine rounds to three in favor of Ruslan Provodnikov. The other two judges had it eight rounds to four for Chris Algieri. There's no way. No way he won eight rounds to four. Provodnikov controlled this fight from the beginning to the end. Did Chris Algieri have some success in this fight fighting back? Being on the assault, of course he did. He had some success. Ruslan Provodnikov wasn't, you know, he wasn't too interested in defense. He was trying to basically rip you apart. And that's what he was trying to do against Chris Algieri, who I could imagine for Ruslan is a huge target being that tall um, for the weight. And so he wanted to get on the inside, take some hits, which were not really doing anything to him, to do the damage that he did to Chris Algieri. I'm sure he wanted to knock him out, didn't get to Al I, I, You give credit to Algieri for not getting knocked out, but he's the loser. He's the one on the defense getting the worst end of it, right? He's getting the worst of most of these exchanges. Uh, you know, with a few moments where he was able to hit and not get hit moving away from Provodnikov All right this fight was insane the scorecards it, it, there was obviously something going on here right and I know some people say this is boxing you know boxing's a business but I don't really care to discuss that whether you know the morals of that Chris Algieri didn't win this fight. There's no way he won. And you can't use that it was business because he wasn't the pop, the more popular fighter uh, fighting Ruslan Provodnikov. He just wasn't. I mean, did anybody know who Chris Algieri was until he fought Manny Pacquiao? Uh, Provodnikov was, was, was gaining momentum after the Timothy Bradley fight. And this was a fight that had... As if if Ruslan wins, he would have had a shot at Manny Pacquiao. He would have gotten a shot to fight a guy who he sparred with many many a times, and 
you know, was hoping that somewhere down the line he can get a fight. And I believe if he would have been given the uh, decision, I think Manny Pacquiao would have gotten in the ring with him. He would have been dangerous for Manny Pacquiao, especially at that time. Now, of course, Pacquiao beats him, in my opinion. But the fight never happened. He wasn't given the uh, decision. So the person that got the gift decision, Algeri, uh, you know, sort of this middle of the road kind of boxer, gets his shot, you know, the biggest payday of his career, the biggest shot of his career against Manny Pacquiao. Robin, the guy who actually did deserve that shot in Provodnikov for many reasons. First of all, he won this fight. Second, he is he's more fan friendly to to you know to the boxing fans. He's the more popular guy. Our jury's not, you know, wasn't a popular fighter. He didn't bring great memories to HBO. I mean, maybe the great memory here is that he survived the onslaught. Looked like he was about to get out of there at any time, but he survived it. But no way did he win this fight. 117-109 was the right score for Ruslan Provodnikov. The 114 to 112, two judges in favor of Chris Algieri was the scam. Was the obviously the fix was in, right? Algieri did not win that fight. In no kind of way. Look at the way his corner reacted. They thought he lost that fight because he did. 